What's good, gang? It's your boy, Mr. Lil Benz, back another reaction. And today, we got Quavo with the song called Over H's and B's. Now, first things first, you know what I'm saying? I feel like we all knew that this, this, this track was coming. I feel like we all did know it was coming. But honestly, I don't really think it was a purpose of him even responding to Chris Brown this track. Even though I knew he was going to do it because everybody's standing on business. Everybody's ten toes deep with it. Um, But... I didn't think there was a point because Chris Brown just cooked him. This man not even really a rapper for real. He is an R.B. artist, but he was rapping whaps around Quavo. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? But maybe Quavo could, could surprise me, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know, man. Right now, I'm saying Chris Brown stuff was probably still gonna cook him. But maybe Quavo can come up with something impressive. Shock me, you know what I'm saying? We gonna get it to it. We're not gonna waste no more time. We're just gonna get straight into it. If y'all enjoyed this video, y'all yeah, did the do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment below what y'all thoughts. Comment below what I should react to next. I get to an ASAP. And yeah, I'm gonna do the videos every day. Comment below the bands, share it to it. This response is to Chris Brown's weakest link. And as you can see, Chris Brown is being choked right now. I think this is would be the opposite. Like, I feel like Chris Brown would be the one choking him. But hey, let's get into it. Cause that man Chris Brown pussy is a nigga, real deal crash out about your bay what you push pussy nigga pull up crash out about your bay what you push Look, bitch, come dance, battle with my Drake you been fucked your bag up when you punch re in the face tell my fashion with oh my gosh I ain't gonna lie I knew this was coming I, I knew that this was coming see once you once you do something that crazy once you do something that crazy yo Reputation is ruined forever. It does not matter. I knew that this was coming. I knew it was finna say something about Rihanna. You know what I'm saying? You been messed up your bag when you, you know what I'm saying? I knew that was coming. I ain't gonna see her a lot. But I'ma just let him cook. Pussy nigga, pull up, crash, shout about your bae. What you pussy? Look, bitch, come dance, battle with my Drake. You been fucked your bag up when you punch re in the face. Tell my fashion week, you sparing who? Come punch me in my face. It ain't nothing but a fade. This man said you sparing who? Like, come on now. I don't, I ain't with all the sparing. If you really standing on business, come, come show me you about it, bro. Come show you about it. Punk, come punch me in the face. Come show me, come put me in my place if you really bought it. Tell my fashion week, you sparing who? Come punch me in and my I face. Pussy. It ain't nothing but a fade. You know you lost to Frank. Frank Ocean. Niggas ran in your house, to tied Ocean. up your aunt cause you ain't paid. Auntie. This bullet got your name. Chris. Don't ever bring up take, pussy. You know, half of y'all niggas Don't ever bring up take off. Don't ever bring up take off. He said take, so obviously I'm thinking take off. Your name. Chris. Don't ever bring up take, pussy. You know, happy I'm always out here. Rocket, bro. I'm talking about like, bleed, nigga, bleed, want some money type shit. Bitch. I call your hoe for pussy. I hit your hoe for pussy. I did the paper, come in to save you, but you gon' owe me. Bro, this is not Quavo. This is takeoff. Don't tell me you're the AR2. So, this is what we're doing now. This is what we're doing in, in the music industry. We using, like, I heard, I see a lot of other people using AR. But they real deal using robots to help make music now. Bro, I, bro I'm telling you, just I, it just brings me back to whenever I was a kid watching Austin and Alvy, bro. I know it's irrelevant, but I had to get this one off my chest. I got to get this off my chest. I'm sorry. It brings me back to those days when I was watching Austin and Alvy, you know what I'm saying, when I was a kid back in 2000, 2012, 2011, 2013, something like that. Somewhere around there, I was watching Austin and Alvy. And I freaking saw this episode where literally it was just robot music. It was just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the music. Don't tell me. Please don't tell me. We finna be in the future actually listening to that trash. Please tell me if we don't. Because music has been going declining. Like, the, the music has been declining. And been sounding more robotic by the second. Please don't tell me that's what we coming to. Please don't. I'm nervous. I ain't gonna lie. Wait, what the freak? 
He tried to beat up Tiana, but Usher won't let you do it. I ain't hear about this story now. <laughs> I ain't hear about this story. That, that's that's crazy if that's true. I can't even lie. You been exposed. Exposed. Versus. Little boy wanna die by some coochie. You still fucked up by Karuchi. You tried to beat up Tiana, but Usher wouldn't let you do it. The cocaine got him, your honor. Bipolar disorder, no wonder. You was the greatest, nigga, you fumbled. Going outside, I'm watching. Dang, bro, this man said the cocaine got him. <coughs> you was the greatest, but you fumbled, bro. He bipolar, bro. Oh, my God. He's saying a lot right now. This man basically basically just saying this man Chris Brown didn't let the judge get to him, bro. This man used to be, like, you know what I'm saying, on the path to be one of the greatest of all time. But he fumbled with all the drugs he's been taking, bro. That's tough. I ain't gonna lie. You see that happen all the time, bro. It's, like, so much talent taken away by the, the drugs, uh, mental disorders, all type of stuff. You know what I mean? Addiction is no problem. I mean, addiction is not a game is what I'm about to say. Not no problem. No, it's not a game, bro. Addiction is not a game. Hey, go. Listen, no. You been exposed. Exposed. Listen. Little boy wanna die by some coochie. You still fucked up by Karuchi. You tried to beat up Tiana. Okay. But Usher wouldn't let you do it. Usher. The cocaine got him, your honor. White. Bipolar disorder, no wonder. You was the greatest, nigga, you fumbled. Going outside, I'm watching you crumble. Why they got Quavo out here going back and forth with a singer that turned to a junkie? Never got light. Skin versus brown skin, nigga finna divide the country. No. Nah. been in the trenches. We step in the yard, you know how that ended? Dumb. Won't smoke with me. Always be me fighting over hoes and bitches. Always be. Who gassed you up to put that out? Yeah, that was shit. Now, I'm pretty sure Chris Brown was in the trenches, though. Did, wasn't, he a, wasn't he a blood, if I'm not mistaken? I heard he was a blood before. I heard that. That could be misinformation. I could be completely wrong. But I heard that Chris Brown was a blood. So, obviously, this man, he might not have been in the trenches, but he was definitely in the streets. Like, that's what I, that's what I heard, though. Don't call me on that, now, by the way. Don't call me on that. I'm not trying to... Say that that is true. I'm just saying that's what I heard. You know what I mean? I just want to put that out there. Fourth with a singer that turned to a junkie. Never got light skin versus brown skin. Nigga finna divide the country. Punch. Nigga, you ain't been in the trenches. We step in the yard. You know how that ended? Don't. Won't smoke with me. Always beat me fighting over hoes and bitches. Always be. Who gassed you up to put that out? Yeah, that was shitty, nigga. Uh. I can take a model bitch and make a sweetie, nigga. Mm. Crackhead Michael Jackson, bitch. Uh. I can take a model bitch. Who gassed you up to put that out? Yeah, that was shitty, nigga. I can take a model. This man said, who gassed you up to put that out? That was trash. I ain't gonna lie, Quavo. I'ma just be real for a second. I hate to really ruin your ego right now. Cause I know you're feeling like him with this diss track. But Chris Brown still technically got a better diss track if I'm being honest. Only reason why I like this diss track so much is because Takeoff. I'm not going to lie. You really living up to the to the, to the name of that last song. I'm going to just be real. The the flow, the you got some ABC bars. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. You know I rock with the Migos. But you definitely living up to that weakest link title, bro. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. A bitch and make a sweetie, nigga. Bitch. Crackhead Michael Jackson, bitch, you better beat it, nigga. Crackhead Michael Jackson, you better beat it. Oh, my. Because everybody been saying, and I always said this from the jump. People been saying that Chris Brown is the closest to Michael Jackson. I think that's the highest level of cap. This man is talented. He can sing. He can dance. But are we really are we really being serious right now? Are we really trying to compare Chris Brown to Michael Jackson? Like, come on now. I, I, I'll accept a couple other people, you know what I'm saying, like The Weeknd. He sounds the closest, if I'm being real, like when it comes to music, he sounds the closest to Michael Jackson, not gonna lie. And then you got John Cook. this man sounds similar to Michael Jackson, and he can actually dance. Like, ser he can seriously dance, I ain't gonna lie. I would put them two together above Chris Brown as close to Michael Jackson, but that's just me though. That's just me. Everybody got their own opinion. I know, I know a lot of people say Chris Brown is the close to Michael Jackson, but I always thought that was straight cap. I'm not gonna lie. Bitch and make a I sweetie, always nigga. That way. Crackhead Michael Jackson, bitch, you better beat it, nigga. I'm still fucked up about take off. I want who did it, nigga. Mm. Oh. But that's some real street shit. Back to the he industry. Said I want real. Where your baby mama said no, they got plenty to. Nigga, fuck that. Pussy, every time you see me, keep that energy. Keep that energy. Can't believe I gotta beat you by some women, bitch. I got your hoe for pussy. I can't believe I gotta beat you by some women, beef. That's tough. I hit your hoe for pussy. I did the favor, come in to save you, but you gon' owe me pussy. I'm on the edge, don't push me. You broke with the feds, you pussy. Come in, come in, and no time. Get back here, we go to your pussy. Pussy, you, pussy, you, pussy, you, pussy, nigga. Time after time, I pull up and wipe me a little baby nose. Pussy, nigga. Dropping the diamond pillow, talking to these bitches and hoes. Pussy, nigga. Good ain't gold. Pussy, nah. Hold on. 
either two things, because this might not be AI. This might not be AI, because I didn't hear him not once mention Chris Brown. And that I, I just jumped the gun and said it's AI. I just jumped the gun and said it was AI because, you know, a lot of rappers, they're using AI right now. <coughs> Drake, since you want to pull up Tupac and Snoop Dogg. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? I just jumped the gun. Honestly, this might, this might, this song might have been already out or not out. He might have already had this in a vault, but then Quavo hopped on it and just dissed Chris Brown. That might have been the case the whole time. I don't, I don't know, I don't really know, cause he didn't really. I don't think he even named Chris Brown. Uh, take off. But I just thought it was AI because it's a lot of people using AI right now. I'm not gonna lie. Pussy, a lot of AI going around here. Time after time, I pull up and wipe me a little baby nose. Pussy nigga, dropping the diamond pillow, talking to these bitches and hoes. Pussy nigga, good ain't gold. Pussy nigga, you been exposed. Exposed. Pussy, pussy, pussy. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be the real takeoff, because ain't no way Quavo rapping like like this <laughs> for for takeoff. Obviously, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? But a fade. You know you lost. This bullet got your. Out here. Pussy. Pussy. Yeah. Wait, hold Bitch. on, what? I'm talking about like, these bleed type shit. Bitch. I for pussy. I hit your hoe for pussy. I did yeah. Yeah, this this is this song was already recorded from takeoff. His verse is already his hook was already recorded. But anyways, the, the, the whole this track as a whole. Like, the song, it's a vibe. I rock with the song. I mainly like the song because of Takeoff. I'm going to just be real. Quavo was not terrible. But, like, I, I'm going to just be honest, bro. Y'all might think I'm just taking sides here. Yeah, I like Chris Brown over than Quavo. But I'm going to just keep it a buck. I'm going to honestly rate them unbiased. Because at the end of the day, I don't really listen to either one of them that much. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to rate them unbiased. So, obviously, Chris Brown this track was a freaking 10. Low-key 11, I'm not going to lie. But Quavo, when it comes to the song, vibe, I give it a, a 9. You know what I'm saying? The vibe of the song is a 9. This-wise, of his verse, like this-wise, I got to be real, bro. It's kind of weak, bro. <laughs> it, it's it's kind of weak. For this, well, I don't know. This-wise, it's just like... Some of the stuff he was saying was just ABC bars. It's not like he wasn't talking crazy. This man said he was the crackhead Michael Jackson. Somebody saved this man. This man said, you been in the Joe legacy whenever you did what you did with Rihanna. I knew that was coming, though. Not going to say it in a lot. Um, but this wise I give it an 8. Song-wise, I give it a 9. You know what I'm saying? It was straight. Um, the distance could have been crazier. could have been better. But... Hey, it's definitely nowhere near the worst diss track I've heard of all of them. And honestly, I feel like he stood his ground a little bit. I do think Chris Brown's diss is still better. I think Chris Brown still cooked them. I'm not going to lie. Because some of the stuff they didn't say, that he didn't said in his diss track, it's some stuff that, that's true. But it's like, it's been said so many times. It's like they can't come up with anything else other to say. They, they basically always talk about Chris Brown and Rihanna. That thing, that situation happened like 15 years ago. For like years ago, mad years ago. And we still talking about that. I'm not saying what he did was right. That was completely out of line. And he knows himself. It's just the fact that it's sad to see that he made a mistake when he was young. And here he is pushing 40 years old. And he's still fighting that mistake he made when he was in his 20s, bro. It's it's all it's always sad to see, you know what I mean? It's always sad to see. Um that's why you gotta make sure you make the right decisions when you're young, because those decisions that you make when you're young will follow you all the way up to when you like old, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, it that decision ain't gonna leave you just cause you got older. A lot of times those decisions come right along with you, grow up right along with you. You know what I'm saying? But Anyways, I thought the song was cool, you know what I'm saying? It was straight. I don't think it was better than Chris Brown, but I do like it, you know what I'm saying? I rock with it. I think he stood his ground decently. He he definitely did his he definitely did his thing. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments down below. If y'all enjoyed this video, y'all did the do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment down below y'all thoughts.
comment on what I should react to next. I get to it ASAP. And yeah, I'm going to do the videos every day. Couple of events. I'm gone.